and hang around, develops the character a little bit more. So uh, that's a good thing, definitely. It certainly is a good thing to have these guys getting their place and not, not fighting for a spot on, on the big television shows where there is scarce little space uh, for them. So NXT and indeed getting rid of ECW, I believe, was a great idea. It's certainly going to help us have a better roster in the future, I think. Yeah, I think uh, ECW was, was long gone and pretty tough to watch for the most part in the last uh jesus probably from when it started as the wwe ecw but um nxt is losing a little bit of momentum but i, I still it's still kind of it's still better than ecw ever was and it, it's good for it to have fresh faces on, on tv as well Indeed, and speaking of the CM Punk and Darren Young match where they defeated Matt Hardy and Justin Gabriel, it was very interesting because I felt that Darren Young performed exceptionally well. And indeed, on the other side, we had Justin Gabriel. Now, I thought Justin Gabriel was like a young Rick Martel. He moved around the ring. He did great stuff uh, in and out of the ring. He had a dynamic look about him. Those two guys really have a unique thing about them that you can see them selling in the next couple of years. And indeed, I have nothing but good compliments to say about those two guys. Yeah, the first time I saw... Um Justin Gabriel when it was the Justin Angel gimmick and and they and he first signed uh, and came on board with the FCW thing my first immediate thought was this guy is WWE material with the look and the and the whole everything was just he had WWE written all over him and I think um that's why a lot of those guys are probably taken on because they can see potential superstar in them from um Darren Young and uh uh, people like uh, David Otunga as well. You know, they they all have that certain, uh, I call it the, the WWE kind of look. You know, where if you compare it to some people uh, like Ring of Honor, some of those guys don't have the WWE look, but at the same time they're amazing to watch. And I suppose like any of the small indies uh, throughout the world, is so much you know amazing talent out there, but. But for whatever reason, El Generico, I mean, he doesn't look like a a big WWE star. But again, you know, we'll probably just, you know, go in circles around some of the some of those WWE guys. But I suppose that's the nature of the beast, isn't it? Certainly. I'm very positive about the future with some of these guys. They're well trained and perfect for the company in the future. Uh, we had Justin Gabriel uh, doing a 450 splash off the ropes. That seems to be one of his special moves, and it's very impressive indeed. Yeah, it is. It's funny how WWE let him do it because uh, they're not big on those high-risk moves. I know Evan Bourne, um, when he came in first with the, the Matt Sedell, uh name still, um, they kind of were a bit... Uh, you know, they weren't too keen on him doing that 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 finish of the shooting star press, and um, yeah, they seem to be getting away or letting things slip on through. Obviously, uh, I think Evan Bourne said that you know he could do it ten times in a row and not mess it up, and it had to actually prove that he could do it. So, hmm. interesting. Certainly interesting to see what happens with everybody on NXT. Want to say hi to Canvi123, uh, one of our live justin.tv chatters. And he simply says, NXT sucks, ECW rules. Well, certainly ECW in its most recent incarnation, not quite like the ECW of old. No, I mean, two completely different products. I think the WWE ECW was... Uh Awful, absolutely awful. Um, just safe as houses. Uh, I think Superstars was more entertaining than 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 ECW, um, the WWE ECW. But old school ECW, yeah. I mean, obviously, I I agree with that. But but not the WWE ECW. Nah. Indeed, and as we continue our review of this week's WWE NXT, just a reminder, 
Uh, you can follow all those NXT rookies on Twitter. And I have written down here, twitter.com slash Daniel Bryan NXT. All one word there if you want to find out more about him. I believe the commentator has mentioned this week that he's got 11,000 followers on his Twitter. We could do it a few of those. It's twitter.com slash WrestleDope uh, if you're following on Twitter tonight. Yep, all you got to do is go to twitter.com and put WrestleDope after the slash and you will find us and you can send us uh, some stuff or you can keep in touch with uh, what the hell we are doing on a day-to-day basis. Indeed, and Michael Cole did the work of the week this week when he uh, bitched about Daniel Bryan's Twitter. Uh, Daniel then sold a lot, probably more than he should have, uh, after being defeated by Kali and then choke slam by show uh, that of course probably ordered by his partner the Miz yep uh, Miz was a, a no show and uh, set the whole thing up I think it was a bit of it must have been a bit of a a bit of a rib on the whole wrestling world to have uh, Daniel Bryan and Kali in there I, I'm sure it was just uh, for a fun factor it had to have been it had to have been because it was the first thing that I I thought of when I saw that, I was like, yeah, this is this is all a, a bit of a, a big work slash rib. Indeed, and he Slater beat Tarver, then Tarver put the beat down on him. I uh, hope Tarver comes back strong. They definitely worked a good match, and as you mentioned as well, Skip Sheffield taking on Wade Barrett. Uh, Skip has shoot written on the back of his wrestling trunks. <laughs> yeah, Skip is the man. Skip, yeah... He needs to be on the main roster. Get him up on Raw and give him some TV time because uh, he's 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 better than the whole lot of them. Wade Barrett, good luck. David Otonga, good luck. Skip Sheffield is the man. We need to keep him on TV. We're big fans of Skip Sheffield, that cowboy gimmick. And it's more than just a cowboy gimmick because he's got something else in there as well. Uh, but he's a funny guy and so far he's certainly impressed me working that story and angle with William Regal even though we're probably all thinking why isn't Regal with Wade Barrett but perhaps that's a bit too obvious yeah who knows uh, I'm sure there was a reason for it somewhere but uh, yeah we thought about that definitely uh, two big guys Barrett the Englishman and also it is something that perhaps we're going to see in the future when maybe Regal might in fact uh, decide that he's had enough of supporting Skip Sheffield certainly he told him last week to stop talking and indeed uh, Skip a very enthusiastic worker <laughs> yeah I think Regal uh, in a sense I'm sure that's why they're paired together because uh Regal can definitely uh, make me laugh too and uh, no well Jesus not they didn't pair him for me but uh, at the same time um just Regal's on-screen reactions and and the way he uh cuts any kind of a promo is is quite funny and to have him do it with, with Skip uh, just the contrast and characters and stuff is is uh, interesting and and funny at the same time Indeed, that is exactly what happened on WWE NXT this week. And you're listening to WrestleDope on WrestleDope.com, live on Justin.tv. <laughs> 